Quantitative survey research designs is one of the most popular and widespread used research designs. This research design is often used uncritically by the junior researchers or student researchers. So in this presentation, I would like to discuss the possible strengths and weaknesses or limitations of the questionnaire or the quantitative questionnaire is a research tool in quantitative survey research designs. First, let us have a brief definition of what a survey questionnaire is. A survey questionnaire is generally a set or collection or series of items and those items could be questions or statements. The aim of this set or series of items is to collect large quantitative data for our research studies. The items or questions could be open-ended, but generally these are close-ended or they could be based on multiple choice or they could be scale-based. So the use, the widespread use of questionnaires survey questionnaire is a research or data collection tool is because it has certain strengths and these strengths include the the following list the first one is large data because questionnaires help in getting large data in relatively lesser time and um, at lesser cost that is why in quantitative studies which actually aim at collecting larger data in order to generalize findings, uh, make use of survey questionnaire is the main data collection tool. Secondly, the ease of administration. So when the questionnaire is constructed, its administration in terms of, of practically collecting data is easier in comparison to other data collection tools or processes such as observation or interviews. Next one is uh, the data that we get through the questionnaire has the potential for generalization. So generalization mainly because of the uniformity of data, the uniformity of data um, analysis and the uniformity of the results that we get through. Um, because of these, there is greater chance that we can generalize on the basis of, of data and findings that we get through the survey questionnaires. Then uniformity. So the questionnaire has uniformity in terms of content and structure, also in terms of administration to the participants in terms of analysis. And so as a result, this uniformity helps the stability of the results. And so that is another strength of the survey questionnaire. Then cost effectiveness. So as I said earlier, there is need for lesser involvement of the main researchers. There is also need for uh, lesser amount of time uh, of time and resource uh, expenditure and so that is why survey questionnaire is considered as a, as a relatively cost effective tool in comparison to other tools then objectivity because of the lesser involvement of the researcher in the in the in the process of data collection and in terms of the lesser flexibility of the of the questionnaire in terms of its content and structure and also in terms of the data that is coming through it there is more um, chances of objectivity that we can get the of the data that we can get through the questionnaires reliability um, again because of the uniformity of the data collection analysis uh, processes, there is 
uh, there is more reliability in terms of the results that we get through survey or the, that, we, the, that we get through the different sources, the data that is coming uh, from the different sources is because of the uniformity of that data, there is more reliability in the process and the product of the survey questionnaire in comparison to other data collection tools. Then ease of analysis. Um, this actually means that because generally the researchers have already decided on the kind of statistics or mathematical calculation that they intend to do uh, once they collect the data. So because they have already decided on that and perhaps they already have expertise in those in the use of those statistical tools or statist statistical analyses. That is why there is ease of analysis because generally these processes have already been decided and have been learned or have or expertise um, have been hired in terms of the analysis that come that, that is needed uh, for the data that comes through survey questionnaires. And lastly, replication or adoptability. Uh, this actually means that in many cases in surveys, um, so student researchers or junior researchers can actually replicate the data collection tools and the data collection and analysis processes that other senior researchers or more accomplished researchers have done. So they can adopt their questionnaires or research tools. And so there is this, because of this re replicability of the research tool, um, this brings in more authenticity and, and ease to the process, and the process of collection and analysis of data through survey questionnaires. Despite these trends, uh, the researchers, the student researchers especially, should have in mind that um, survey questionnaires uh, have certain limitations as well. So it's not uh, that this is just the, the only um, or the most reliable data collection tool. So the limitations include one, the first one is that it, it, is, uh, it has an inherent rigidity in terms of the, the process and outcomes of data collection and analysis. So as we know that the questionnaires are already um, prepared in advance of the data collection. And so because we want to ensure uh, uniformity in terms of data collection analysis and also in terms of, of the outcomes, as a result, there is, there is no flexibility in terms of bringing change or making or a, adding to the research questionnaire uh, or maybe cutting down parts of the research questionnaire. So we can say it's a more rigid process of data collection. Secondly, difficulty in construction. So although data, uh, data collection and analysis might be re relatively easier once data is collected. But before the data collection, when we are constructing the questionnaires, uh, we need a lot of care in, in developing the questionnaire so that it can respond to our research objectives, so that the language is clear, so that the structure is clear, so that it, its administration, its analysis is easier. and. Um, so that we can get the data that we need. So that is why the, the construction of questionnaire needs a lot of planning and a lot of critical thinking and a lot of work. Response rate could, could be another limitation. Um, and that actually means that once we send the questionnaire to the respondents, uh, in many cases they might not respond to or they might that they might partially respond to our questionnaire, uh, to our question, questionnaire in terms of, of giving their views or their perceptions or data. So because we are not generally directly in contact with the respondents, especially if we are collecting very large scale data, uh, the response rate 
could be lower than expected and so this could have impact on the kind of data or the amount of data that we are collecting. Then miscommunication could be another limitation of questionnaire which actually means that there could be misinterpretation of what we want to ask from the respondents. So there could be miscommunication because of language, because of the structure of questions, um, because of, of vocabulary uh, and, and so many other reasons. So this, uh, this is something because of the lack of direct communication or coordination between the researcher and the participants, this could be another limitation. Then researcher bias um, is another because the researcher is asking uh, what they want to explore in the way they want to explore. So, so it's their language. The, the choice that the respondents have or the participants have is limited. They have to respond, generally respond uh, in terms of the items or the list of items that have been provided especially in close-ended questions or in scale-based uh, items, they have to respond to, uh, the, uh, to, to the items in terms of the answers that the researchers have already provided. So that could actually limit the freedom of choice for the, for the respondents and so researcher bias. Focus on structure, again, in, questionnaire, in, sur in survey questionnaire, the structure is very important because we are interested in the uniformity of data uh, that, that we want to have from the respondents. And that actually means a lot of focus on the structure, lesser on the content. And so putting, fixing in our items into the structure could lead to, again, um, miscommunication or they could actually lead to limiting the researcher in terms of what they want to ask from the respondents. And then lack of authenticity. Um, this is an interesting um, uh, thing. Lack of authenticity actually means that in many cases it can happen that the respondent might not answer correctly or they might hide uh, facts or in some cases they might not even fill the questionnaire themselves. Maybe some, they, they gave it to someone else uh, to fill the questionnaire. So uh, you never know because the thing is not happening in front of your eyes. And so that could, that could actually impact the authenticity of the data that is coming through this. In some cases, they might not understand what you, have, um, what you are asking, but they might still answer or take something and so that can lead to the lack of authenticity of the data that is coming. Then lack of contextual detail um, is another thing that, that, that we can consider as a limitation of the survey questionnaire. So generally there is some introduction to the research topic but individual items inside the questionnaire do not have contextual details, so the respondent is actually responding in, in many cases in, a, in an information vacuum. Um, so they do not have the contextual detail that they generally can have uh, when they are like being interviewed or being observed. So this is something that can again limit the authenticity of the data that we get. Superficiality is another um, limitation of this type of data and this actually means that because in questionnaire it is difficult for the researcher to get into the detail of things and similarly it is difficult it is all, all, almost impossible for the respondent to respond in detail uh, in many cases the, the respondent might want to give context uh, to the kind of answers that they are giving but because they have limited space and limited choice, so the answer, the kind of detail that is required for certain, in response to certain questions, 
is not possible in the survey questionnaires and so that can bring in superficiality to the data that we get through survey questionnaires.